while we are constantly improving our distance learning program, it simply can't replace the rich social emotional learning experience that happens when students are live on campus with their classmates and with their teachers. Following public health guidelines to prioritize the safety of their staff and students throughout the remainder of this school year. At Berkeley, that depends really at the grade level they're at. So the elementary school plan is different than the middle school and high school plan. Stable groups on campus will need to stay intact to the extent possible. There will be social distancing uh, at every single campus and in every single classroom, everyone will wear a face covering, all of those mis risk mitigation um, practices will be in place. And that includes things like screening on a daily basis before students and staff enter the school. That includes um, one-way hallways, a lot of signs that explain about you know, paths of travel, um, hand washing, hand sanitizing. Uh, there's so many steps and so many protocols in place. Some students are unable or uncomfortable attending in-person schooling. BUSD educators must continue to provide equal educational opportunities for their fully remote learners while simultaneously juggling their new hybrid learners. Well, our roles are gonna stay the same in some way because we're still gonna be providing online remote learning for some kids on any given day but we're also going to be shifting back to what we are all more used to from the past, right? Welcoming kids into our classroom, creating a warm, supportive learning environment for them, but in ways that we've never had to do it before. BUSD schools are slowly but surely gaining normalcy. On Monday, March 29th, 82% of Berkeley Elementary School pre-kindergarten through second grade students re-entered classrooms. Students and staff are adapting very well and very quickly to the changes. Learning is happening in every classroom and I think very importantly, um, students are so happy to be with their classmates, to be with instructors, and to be together back on campus. After a long, socially deprived year of Zoom classes, it is difficult for older students to reflect on their unprecedented adolescent experience. Like everyone, we just feel cheated um, of a part of our lives, and especially, I think, a very important part of our lives. Um, because it is at that point, we're transitioning into adulthood and we haven't finished our childhood. Here at Berkeley High School, students returned to campus last week and are adapting to this new hybrid form. Reporting from CalTV, I'm Caroline Swanson.